her parties and happy birthday to all the parties that are coming up towards their birthdays um these are the empowerment readings i will be using my empowerment oracle deck that i designed a few years ago these will not be extended readings i'm going to be doing these um, at the beginning of each month with the empowerments and the extenders will be done for the love and the generals which are going to be weekly now every week um, they'll be available on my Patreon, um, so I'm building the community, the link is in the description box below, if you're watching me on Instagram, the link's in my bio, um, that's where I'm going to be putting all of the extenders, so you get access to all the extenders, to bonus readings, uh, full moon, new, new moon, um, anything that I choose to go on, and hopefully when I build the community up, that's where I'm going to be doing my lives from now on, to stop all the uh, fake profiles and things like that, because as soon as I go live, they all seem to jump on stealing my photos and stuff like that it's a bit random um so i'm gonna dive straight in Parsi's empowerment we are still under the new moon it was last night but well yeah it was this morning last night oh congratulations Parsi. so you've got my trump card You've been given your energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others. Your experiences are your qualifications. Soar to new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it is needed. So, massive congratulations to uh, Parsis. You've done something good. What's crossing that energy is Call of the Wild. So, the Call of the Wild card to me is about kind of untaming yourself, unleashing yourself, being ready to experience new experiences, calling in your spirit animals. You know, sometimes we need to call in our spirit animals in order to take on the animal's persona, to take on issues that are going on in life. You could also be going through a period of lucid dreaming. We've got the dream catcher there, but it is a protected period. So it's definitely protected because you're being given some kind of spiritual energy um you know your your experiences are your qualifications so you've you've learned a massive lesson in life so why is this coming around now the root chakra i'm loving this uh, energy the root chakra feeling grounded feeling safe and secure in order to be able to take on the new experiences to kind of push yourself forward towards new things new people whatever it is you're wanting to experience you know it's like the doors are open Yeah, because in the recent past, we've got freedom. You've you've freed yourself from some kind of cycle, some kind of experience, and it's majorly showing because it's a massive congratulations for the work and the effort that you've put in into freeing yourself. So you may have freed yourself from a relationship, from karmic cycles, from jobs, you know, that type of energy. Freed yourself from your own thoughts, your own, like, thought concepts within certain situations but you've most definitely freed yourself you may still carry some of the shackles you know but that's karmic lessons oh i've gone blurred then <laughs> um but again you're freeing yourself you you're actually doing that and you've learned something massive your experiences are your qualifications so you know it's your experiences you've lived it at present we have got the haunted card that is where these you know, she's broken free, but she's still carrying some of the pain or some of the lessons, um, some of the thoughts. I don't know why I wanted to say PTSD then. So I'll take it as it resonates. But I feel like what Spirit is saying is you are protected whilst you kind of do the shadow work. And with the Parsi's new moon, it's the perfect time to do it because it kind of puts us in our feelers, in our, in our emotions. And with this new moon energy, we can kind of do the shadow work, but in an easier way. The moon kind of illuminates the things that the sun doesn't, you know, so it's the best time to do actual shadow work when the moon is in its shadow. So going forward, we have recognition and desires. So being recognised, people seeing that you've done so well, you know, recognising it in yourself that, how far you've come feeling on top of the world you know there's most definitely like a freedom um element in your reading you know i do feel like you've ended some kind of major cycle the world is about wrapping up completely one cycle and you know the world is your oyster and starting to go into the next cycle because 
the hand of the divine is saying, what do you desire? What do you desire? You know, I actually drew that card when I needed a new home and it came in, you know. But the hand of the divine, she's looking over what she what she desires. What do you desire? So there's massive like rewards kind of coming in for the work that you've done. Your power is the temptation card, which is my devil card. Capricorn energy. You may have Capricorn in your chart. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. But for the devil card to be your power, it's about chasing your passions. You know, the devil card is not always bad. Sometimes we need a little bit of excitement, a little bit of that, you, you know, that type of energy. But it's about chasing your passions and doing what you want to do. The outside influence is abandoned and lonely but that's the outside influence so there's definitely people places things that you've had to leave behind because the hand of the divine is taking you towards people and places that are going to bring more light into your life in the hopes and fears position we have the moon your card passes so again releasing any fears that are holding you back being able to do the shadow work it's nice and again the moon sheds light on the darkest of things it illuminates the darkest of areas because your outcome is gardens and i absolutely love this because at present we've got the haunted card needing to go maybe look over the past even if it's to see how far you've come and to recognize you know the journey that you've kind of undertaken because your outcome is gardens which is the exact opposite of this card that it's dead there's nothing there but with the gardens card you know the grass is starting to grow yeah, the path is dark, but she's got the spiritual lantern. So every step she takes forward is going to be lit. It's going to be illuminated. You know, she's being guided by someone or towards someone new. So take it as it resonates. If you are looking for a person or looking towards people, that'll bring light into your life rather than that. You know, we've got someone stood there in the light. I feel like you are being guided to more lighter connections. So I'm going to get some clarification on that for you, Percy's. So we've got the congratulations card. What's going on with Pisces? The Ten of Wands in reverse. You've definitely kind of dropped some kind of burden. It's almost like it's too much for me to carry. I'm not dealing with it. It's I don't need to. It's not mine. That's our venture. And that's within your, your experiences. You've kind of qualified some kind of karmic lesson. Because we've got the Page of Wands. It's time to get excited about the new things that are coming in. Could have been dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Could have that in your chart, but I feel like this is your energy about getting excited about what's coming in. So the root chakra at the base of the reading. We've got the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. So again, I'm feeling, you know, the thoughts. I keep getting drawn to the thoughts. He has got the bandage around the head. Um, wrapping up of a cycle as well. We've got the four of pentacles the need to let go in order to experience more because once he lets go of that one pentacle he can grab the other three he's got more experiences more things to look forward to april could be significant in the recent past the world on top of the freedom card so you've most definitely wrapped up a cycle you've totally wrapped up a cycle i just feel that with this new moon energy it's kind of bringing things up from the past that may haunt you or you know things that you've kind of just not fully let go of king of wands sagittarius leo aries energy the king of wands though is very motivated very career driven very ambitious he sees what he wants he goes and gets what he wants he does the work in order to get what he wants to me that's your energy you could be haunted by a fire sign there could be a fire sign in the past let's have a look we've got the four of cups so I feel like you've ended a cycle maybe with somebody or with a group of people, with a job, whatever, but it's kind of, you kind of still miss it. There's something still coming up and you're still kind of missing it for some reason. But it could be trauma bonds with the nine of wands being there. You could actually, some of my pasties could actually be dreaming about people uh, from their past. And I feel like spiritually that's where you're doing your work. You know, you're doing some kind of healing whilst you dream. Because near future, you've got what do you desire, you know? Maybe you desire love, the two of cups. You desire relationships that flow, you know? People that are going to gift you with the same amount of time and effort that you're willing to put into a situation. Um, so it looks like this is about dealing with people. 
and then we've got the yes, so Gemini Libra Aquarius energy but again it's like the fog is lifted you're seeing the truth of the situation straight in your crown you're seeing the truth you you're able to cut the cord to the past I feel like some of you may be dealing with trauma bonds from the past and you're basically cutting it out so that you can have healthy relationships your power on top of the devil card is my four of wands which is my 11 11 card manifesting manifesting a better life which is exactly what you're doing there with the desires card putting the, your desires out into the universe outside influence so we've got this abandoned and lonely card we've got the queen of swords in reverse you could have been dealing with someone who was very bitter you have an alibi aquarius energy but the queen of swords in reverse is very bitter can be very standoffish not very nice verbally so there could have been some kind of like emotional uh, well not emotional abuse but verbal abuse you know that type of energy someone who's very bitter to the fact that you're moving on and trying to make better of your life with the moon in your hopes or fears we've got the six of cups so we've definitely got like people from the past i definitely feel like you're going through a massive release and releasing people from the past the guidance as your outcome is the six of wands 2022 resonates on the sixth vibration peace love harmony balance you're on your way for it you're winning there's good news coming in there's recognition coming in especially within 2022 you're on the road to winning you're on the road to you know creating well receiving better people better alliances take it as it resonates because it's an empowerment reading so it's all about people but i feel like you're letting go of the people that drain you and going towards the people that are going to bring their light towards you so on the same resonance as you to them so i really like this parsees so i'll be back next week for the generals bye